Hello everyone, we're making a drive through salad here for Chili or Bearded Dragon today. Uh, it's called a drive through salad because it's very easy to make, it's affordable, and it covers the essential needs of your Bearded Dragon. That being um, turnip greens, collard greens, and mustard greens. And I also added, you know, some sweet peppers and some blueberries for hydration. So let's go ahead and get started. She's sunbathing right now. I take her out as much as I can to receive natural sunlight. She loves it. It's good for her, you know, not just be in her enclosure 24-7. Out in the natural sunlight, she gets very, very happy. She changes colors too. She <laughs> she got really, really dark. If, if you see other uh, videos in the channel, you see she looks really light and she comes out of the sunlight, she turns dark. So, let's get started. What do you say, Tilly? Okay, let's make a bearded dragon salad. Got that. That. Now let's go over the ingredients. I like to use sweet peppers. I like to use mashed carrots and I found this southern blend of um, greens which are said that are triple washed but I wash an addition you know additional time just to make sure I like this mix because it has everything uh, bearded dragon usually eats uh, color greens mustard greens and turnip greens it does include kale greens, but I dig those out just because kale is known to bind calcium and, uh, you know, it's bad for the beardies. So, uh, we get started here. I already poured myself some out. Okay. And... I picked out the kale, which I have over here. You can tell the kale because it's a lot darker green. And let's see the turnip green. See, here's a turnip green. It's a lot lighter. You, you, you know, you could see the difference. Light green, dark green. This has, a, I'm going to say, uh, spread out veins I guess you would say the plants and uh, the kale they're a lot more th thicker and closer together and uh, but anyway just by the color it's pretty easy to tell the kale from the turnip greens now I let's go through this and you got you can dig the kale out if you decide to go with that On this kale, turn it green. Kale, turn it green. So you want to keep the turnip greens. Okay, so another thing you want to dig out of here is any big stalks, you know, it sticks like this, you know, like that. You want to make sure you get rid of uh, out of all those. Uh, the camera is tripping. <laughs> there we go. So basically, you grab, you know, one of these. You want to cut the good stuff out of it. And just throw away the stock. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is get your sweet peppers, okay? Now these sweet peppers I got from this bag right here. 
two peppers. I believe they're about four dollars, and it comes with red, orange, and yellow peppers. I found out my bearded dragon really loves this. That's another thing. You have to find out what your bearded dragon likes, because not all of them like the same. I've seen a lot of bearded dragons eat strawberries. Mine does not like strawberries. I uh, tried to feed him a couple of times. She does not care for him. She does love is blueberries. She loves blueberries. She'll kill them. Kill them all. All right. So, with the green, not green, with the yellow peppers, what you want to do is get rid of the, all the seeds obviously you don't want to fe feed your bearded dragon seeds and you want to make sure you cut that tough those tough veins there okay so get rid of all your seeds and you want to cut that away Bam. Okay. Now you can still get some out of here if you're careful. Make sure nothing goes to waste. And again, you can feed these uh, scraps to your crickets. Crickets will crickets and um, superworms will eat that very good, very well, and the greens too. Um, your you know scrap from your. Uh, color greens, your turnip greens, and your uh, mustard greens, because remember, whatever your superworms eat, or you, whatever your feeder insects eat, that's what be passed on to your beardy, so let's give it a quick chop, not too small, you know, because they gotta have something to grab onto, you know, something to bite, some crunch. All right, that looks good. Got some seeds over here. No seeds. Take out all the seeds. All right. So that's one. Okay, now, tend not to cut them all at once because one mistake I did uh, when I was beginning is that I used to chop everything up and keep it on one container and just grab from there and feed but what happened is in the refrigerator uh, that container started creating moisture and then the food will start to rot before my beard dragon got to eat it so now what I do is just cut a little bit of a time maybe rations for like two three days and that's it and then um, cut up some more they stay, stay fresher that way anyway if you cut all this up and keep it for a long time, all the moisture will be out of it. All, everything, you know, your vegetables will just go to waste. So, chop portions, little portions at a time. And uh, I, I reuse this bag right here to keep my prepared salad. Why? Because it has ventilation holes. So, it doesn't get all moist and, you know like I was saying inside of a container with a lid so my prepared salad goes here and it'll stay fresh for much longer if than if you just put it in a regular container and stick it in the fridge so now we get a little bit of carrot it's roughly shot like that Not too much cause you know she she eats carrot here and there but it's not one of her favorite things, so I tend not to put too much in there. Okay, so now keep in mind this will be your everyday salad, I guess you would say, because it has the three main greens that they eat, and they have these peppers which are rich in vitamin C. Okay. And um, you still want to add your, obviously your multivitamins. Add your volta, multivitamins to your veggies and greens. Uh, and your calcium is for your feeder insects. So 
So I'm gonna go ahead and build her plate. Okay. Grab some greens like that. And then you throw carrots and uh, peppers right on top. Like this. Now, my bearded dragon likes to pick out the peppers first and the blueberries and then leave the greens and eat them later which is fine she still eats everything but it's funny how she likes to pick out the things she likes to eat first and then finish the rest like kind of like a child that and so there you go that's uh, the bearded dragon salad uh, like I said, you want to switch it up from time to time with different uh, types of veggies. Um, I was talking about butternut squash, uh, spaghetti squash, um, sweet potato. Uh, they like uh, another thing that I like to do is just to throw a couple of. Uh, super warm right on top just to kind of get her going because they all react a lot faster to feed her insect than her greens so sometimes I might put one or two she'll eat them up and then she'll start eating everything else look at this when you dropped it Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned some things. Uh, please like and subscribe and leave your comments. Uh, there will be a lot more to come in 2019. See ya!